The movie begins in a neighborhood where a girl is playing a cello in her room. A man, who is her stepfather and abuses her, quietly enters her room while holding a drink. He takes away her cello from her. However, this time the girl refuses and pushes him away with both of her legs. The man falls and hits a flower vase with his neck. The girl was very surprised as she saw the man bleeding slowly until he died. Later, the police took her into custody where she told them her name is Anna Nix. Then, she had a trial and was sentenced to spend four to nine years in a place where young people who break the law are punished and taught to be better. Anna gets on a bus where she meets other girls who are being taken with her. When they arrive, the guards ask them to change their clothes. When they arrived at the facility, the previous inmates looked happy and cheered for them. Afterward, they gathered in a room, and the warden, who introduced himself as Frank, gave them a talk. When Anna is taken to her cell, she meets Jeannie who is also staying in the same cell. Anna notices that Jeannie is quiet and learns that she has been in there for about five years. Later, a guard shouts from outside for them to turn off the lights and go to bed. Anna goes to her bed and falls asleep quickly. Later that night, Jeannie watches Anna sleeping on her bed. Jeannie starts to feel good by herself while looking at Anna sleeping. When Anna hears Jeannie making noises, she wakes up. But Jeannie quickly covers her face and pretends to be sleeping. The following day, all the inmates go outside to play. Anna feels scared and chooses to be by herself. However, one of the girls comes to her. The girl tells Anna her name is Cody and tries to become friends with her. Cody tells Anna that she needs to join a group to protect herself because the other girls are very dangerous, but Anna says no. Later, the girls are inside and eating. Anna takes her food and sits alone, but Cody and her friends come over again. Cody offers to protect Anna and tells her that another girl doesn't like her and has been watching her. However, Anna just wants to be by herself. Anna leaves, but Cody pushes her from behind and makes fun of her. While Anna is cleaning the floor, Cody and her friends take her to a dark room. Cody says that she will hurt Anna because Anna didn't show enough respect. Cody and her friends beat up Anna and warn her that they will kill her if she tells anyone about what happened. Before leaving, Cody kisses Anna. Later, Anna goes to the prison infirmary and lies to the guard by saying that she doesn't know who beat her up. The nurse who treats her suggests that she should talk to the warden, Frank, if she has any problems because he could help her. After that, Anna goes to Frank's office to ask him to leave her alone. However, Frank tries to use his power to get something from Anna in exchange for his protection. Anna feels uncomfortable with Frank's behavior and moves away from him. Frank tells Anna to leave his office, and she goes back to her cell where she cries in bed. Jeannie notices that Anna is upset and asks her if Frank touched her. Anna thinks that everyone in the prison is perverted. Jeannie climbs down from her bunk bed and tries to explain how things work in the prison. She compliments Anna's beauty and kisses her. Soon after, they become intimate. Anna and Jeannie go for a walk outside. The girl who has been watching Anna since she arrived at the prison comes up to her and tries to scare her by throwing a ball at her head. When the girl leaves, Anna feels angry. Anna goes to find Cody and her gang, but a member of the gang tells Anna to leave. Anna punches the gang member and a fight breaks out. A guard comes in and stops the fight. Cody decides to walk with Anna and tells her that to be a part of their gang, she needs to prove herself. Cody takes Anna to a room and offers her a drink. She tells Anna that in order to join their gang, Anna needs to hit the girl who frightened her earlier while they record it. Anna hits the girl and another fight breaks out. Several guards have to come in and stop the fight. Anna got in trouble for the fight and was punished by being put in a small, dark room without clothes for 47 hours. When her punishment ended she had to go see Frank again. Frank was glad to see her and told her that he could watch her every move. He warned Anna that if she didn't want to be locked up for longer than 47 hours, she would have to do things to make him happy. Anna feels like she has to obey Frank, so she does what he wants. Afterwards, 
Anna feels so disgusted that she takes a bath. Later, all of Cody's gang is in a small room and one of the girls tattoos something on Anna's arm. After it's done, Cody tells everyone else to leave and she wants to be alone with Anna. They have a romantic moment before Cody promises to protect Anna and they kiss and become intimate. However, one of Cody's gang members almost catches them, but Cody scares the girl away. A guard then comes in and takes Anna back to her cell. The next day, Anna's mother visits her in prison. Anna is upset because her mother thinks she killed her stepfather on purpose. Anna tries to explain, but her mother hits her in the face. A guard comes in to tell them to be quiet. After the guard leaves, Anna's mother is even more angry and wishes Anna would stay in prison longer. Later, Anna is outside with Cody and her gang when the girl who caused trouble before shows up with a knife. Anna fights back, and the two girls start wrestling on the ground. The other girls join in and a fight breaks out. Fortunately, guards arrive and stop the fight. But Anna is taken to Frank's office, and he was surprised to see her. Anna tried to explain what happened, but Frank told her that he saw everything on his camera and said that Anna was the one who started the fight. Then he gave her a tube to smoke, and it made Anna feel strange and unsteady. Frank then told Anna to bend over, and he did something bad to her again. Back in her cell, she behaves differently and even hits Jenny. A guard discovers this and takes her to Frank's office. Frank scolds Anna and tells her he doesn't like that she keeps being brought to him with issues. Anna asks Frank to send her home instead of raping her, but Frank threatens to send her to a place where she would experience real rape. After the meeting, Anna goes to Cody's cell and asks to get high. They argue, and Cody yells at Anna to leave her cell. Anna tries to sit with Jenny, but Jenny moves away. Anna sees two girls using drugs and offers them money to try it. They refuse but later give Anna a shot. Cody sees this and visits Anna in her cell. Anna claims she can take care of herself but Cody disagrees. Anna spits in Cody's face and Cody removes Anna from the gang. One night some girls beat up Anna in the bathroom and she is left to cry by herself. She goes to the infirmary for help but then goes back to the girls to get high again. She gets so high that she starts seeing things that aren't real and writes, dead, on her arm. She continues to get high with the other girls. Later, Anna feels sick and throws up in her cell. Jenny suggests she needs to see a drug counselor, but Anna makes fun of her instead. Jenny feels upset by Anna's behavior and wishes that Anna would face consequences for it. Anna then goes to pick a fight with the girl who attacked her earlier in the bathroom, and the fight becomes so intense that even guards get hurt. The special forces have to come and stop the fight. Anna is then put in solitary confinement until Frank comes to release her. Later, Cody visits Anna and Anna sees her bullying Jenny. Anna doesn't like this and tells Cody to leave, saying that she is either her friend nor her enemy anymore. Cody leaves. Jenny takes Anna to bed and they kiss. The next day, Jenny tries to stop Anna from getting high, but Anna insists on doing it anyway. Just as she's about to take the drug, Cody comes and begs her to stop. Anna gets upset and yells, causing a commotion. Special forces are called in to break up the fight. Frank intervenes and tells Anna, who was threatening to harm herself with a broken bottle, to calm down. Anna refuses to give up the shattered bottle and a guard tries to take it from her. Frank gets scratched on his face. As a result, Anna is forced to the ground and sent to solitary confinement again, without any clothes. This time, she spends more time in the dark, alone. Anna broke a food tray and hurt herself. A guard noticed and got help from medical staff. Later, Anna woke up in a place where Dr. Han was there to help her. Anna tells the doctor that she doesn't want to die, but only wants to get out of isolation. Later, Anna is taken to see the nurse who tries to make her feel better. Anna sees another girl who is very sick and calls for help. The next day, Anna asks to speak to her mom. Her mom apologizes and promises to help Anna get back to her scholarship. Frank wants to talk to Anna and tells her she's not sick anymore, so she has to go back to her cell. Anna erases the tattoo from her arm. And Jenny comes to comfort her. Anna and Jenny make love. During lunch, Cody and her gang tease Anna. One night, a guard takes Anna to a small room where Frank is waiting with a cello. Frank asks Anna if she wants to play in a talent show, and Anna agrees. 
she plays the cello. The next morning, Anna is standing by herself outside when a girl walks by and drops a piece of paper with, your father, written on it. Then, Cody and her gang attack Anna because Cody finds out that Anna removed the tattoo from her arm. Cody gets angry and cuts Anna's face. Cody told her gang to attack Anna. Anna is in the infirmary when Frank visits her and promises to punish Cody. Frank touches Anna inappropriately while the nurse witnesses it. After Frank leaves, the nurse offers to help Anna by reporting the incident to the authorities. However, Frank hears their conversation through surveillance cameras and orders a female prisoner to kill the nurse. Anna sees what happened and starts to cry. A guard takes her to Frank's office. Frank tells Anna that Cody killed the nurse and warns her that she could be next. He also reminds her about the talent show. Anna played her cello at the talent show. When the show ended, Frank talked to Anna and told her that he scheduled a parole hearing for her next month. Anna was surprised but Frank wanted to have intimate moments with her as usual. Anna told Jeannie about the parole hearing but Jeannie warned her not to trust Frank. Later, Anna and another girl are cleaning the floor when Cody's gang tries to interrupt them, but a guard stops them. Anna then asks Cody for help to bring Frank down. Cody takes Anna to her cell and gives her a camera to record Frank's bad habits. Before Anna leaves, Cody kisses her. On the day of Anna's parole hearing, she reminds Frank of their deal. Frank asks Anna to please him well as it was their last time together. Anna takes advantage of this opportunity to secretly record Frank while she pleases him. Later, Anna is called into an office with authorities who ask her about what she did. Anna says she is ready to leave, but Frank says she is not ready yet. The officials consider denying her request until Anna shows them evidence of what Frank does to her in private. The people in charge catch Frank and let Anna go. They say sorry to Anna and allow her to leave the prison. Anna says goodbye to Jeannie and walks by Cody. A guard goes with her outside to meet her mom. Anna is feeling well and playing the cello in a church where many people are watching, and her mother is crying while watching her daughter play. 